Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to go over how to set up your mirror booth event with Darkroom Booth 3. So I'm going to go into the program. And I'm just going to continue with the trial. Continue. Okay, so we have a sample mirror booth event. And what we're going to do is just set up the animation videos for this. Uh, so if you go into output, device control. And in device control, you'll see that they already have it set up for this sample mirror booth event. Uh, you have the attract mode, during startup, and instructions, uh, before photo and after photo and then the countdown so these are the main ones that you you will have to change uh, for different uh, scenarios like a, a birthday or a quinceanera or a wedding um, animation set or anything that you want to put in uh, for your different sets uh, so let's say we're going to change this one uh, from the samples and if you want to see how the samples look like, if we hit start booth, still printers. Okay. So this is what the sample one looks like. If I just click on here, it's going to start it. So that was the attract mode, the first one. This is the before photo video. This is the countdown video. And if we wait, This is the after video. So there's going to be three photos after that, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, stop it there. And we're going to hit escape a few times. <clears throat> just wait for this to load. Now let's just go back to device control. So we come back into device control after escaping out of uh, start booth mode. Uh, in here, the main ones that you would have to change uh, that are important is the attract mode. There's a different way of setting up the attract mode. Uh, if you go to edit here, uh, let's say you wanted to change this one, you would just go delete. Uh, there, add video and then you're going to pretend I'm going to pretend like a, I was adding a video in there so let's say I already found my video by clicking browse I found the attract video of touch the mirror to start I hit open and what you're going to do for the attract mode is you're going to hit loop video maintain and playback so make sure these three are checked for the attract mode hit ok so i'm going to hit just cancel for, for right now and then cancel that uh, let's see and the booth commands uh during startup that just what that's the uh the booth command that allows you to touch it to start uh, so that's what gives the mirror boot its function. Uh, so don't worry about changing that one. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to show you a little tip on how you can speed up a lot of this process. Uh, before photo one, that's going to be the before photo. Same process, you just hit edit, delete. And when you add a new one, when you add a new video, you don't have to check these boxes for the before photo and the after photo. You don't have to check these. This is just for the attract mode. So now you can you can choose which one you want to want to play uh, before the photo and which one you want to play after the photo. Uh, for the countdown, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you're going to choose the same video for each. Uh, countdown. So if you're doing a three-picture countdown, you only put in 
uh, three pictures. If you're doing a four picture countdown, you put in four videos. And then the end instructions, uh, that's going to be what says uh, your photos are printing or anything along those lines. After you're done putting in the videos, you're pretty much set up and you can just hit start booth. And as you're adjusting the videos, you can always hit start booth to kind of see what it looks like uh, as the uh, start booth mode would play. So to speed up this process, uh, what I like to do is from here, the events, I like to create a new event. Actually, instead of creating a new event, I'm sorry, you're going to go to uh, duplicate event. So when you duplicate an event, you can rename this one. Edit event info. <clears throat> Let's say I want this to be a wedding set. So I'll name it wedding set. Hit OK. So now everything's kind of already set up for me. So if I go to wedding set or if I go to sample near booth event, since I duplicated it from this one and I go to wedding set, now each of the videos are already kind of set there for me. So I already I know where to change the videos at. So I don't have to set up a uh, during startup, um, a lot of them are already preset for me, so I know where to change the videos. And so I like to do that so it kind of speeds up some of the process. And when you're done doing an event, you can just always reuse the same one by just uh, saving all the, all the, the photos, uh, exporting them, and then delete them off of here. And then so this so this section right here of all your events won't look so cluttered. You can just have one for weddings, one for birthdays, uh, one for quinceañeras, um, whichever ones you, you plan on using. Uh, and then it'll just probably be like five or so. You can just keep reusing those same ones. So so that way you don't have to keep. Um, keep adjusting the videos for a new event. It's already preset for that specific uh, type of event. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this helps uh, you to figure out how to set up mirror booth uh, animation videos. And if you have any questions or if you have any co comments, just go ahead and leave them in the section below. And I'll see you in the next one.